Hi, my name is Grant Hobson. I've been a finance analyst for the last six years. Today I'm going to run you through some financial performance methods as well as some investment appraisal techniques. How to calculate marginal cost. The marginal cost of production is the increase in total cost as a result of producing one extra unit. Marginal costs are not constant. For example, a factory may be operating at the highest capacity it can with all workers working full-time hours. So increasing production by one more unit would mean paying overtime. So the marginal cost would be higher than the current variable cost per unit. Conversely, an input may become cheaper as the quantities purchased rise because you get quantity discounts. So marginal cost may fall as production increases. The importance of marginal costs vary greatly from industry to industry and from product to product. The marginal cost of manufacturing jewellery is likely to be high due to the skills labour that goes into it. On the other hand, the marginal cost of producing a small item of clothing will be negligible. The calculation for marginal cost is as follows. If we take two quantities here, quantity A and quantity B. So when the company produces 4,500 units of the product, the cost of the product is a total of £370,000. That's an average cost of £82.22 for the product. At status B, once the quantity goes up to 5,600 units, the cost is £455,000 which is £81.25 per unit. So to work out the marginal cost, we take the change in the quantity, so 5,600 less 4,500, and then we take the change in the cost, so you have 455,000 less 370,000, which gives you a marginal cost of production of £77.27. So if you wanted to produce one more unit, this is the cost that it would be. If your marginal cost is lower than the revenue you generate from that unit, then it's worth producing.